every tool these days says it has AI baked into it, but what does it actually look like to use AI inside of HubSpot to write a blog post? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk through how I would use AI to write a blog post natively in the platform using the prompts. And then once we get to the edit stage, some things to consider to make sure that that post actually ends up being helpful and valuable to your audience before you publish it and share it with the world. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Okay, so here I am in HubSpot, and if you haven't navigated here lately, there's actually a new content tab, and that's where your blog is now going to live. So again, you're gonna be using this inside of HubSpot when you blog on HubSpot. It's not gonna be possible if you don't host your blog on HubSpot. So we're gonna click on Generate Blog Posts to get started. And first of all, it's just gonna ask you what your blog post is about. So here we're going to create a blog post about, let's say, common challenges or obstacles that a user may face when learning or using HubSpot for the first time. We work with a lot of folks who this happens to be something that's pretty common. And sometimes when we're so close to the tool, we may not realize what it's like to not be in the tool. So we're going to go ahead and use this as a prompt and see where we get. And we're gonna choose this blog since we have multiple blogs. If you have content hub, um, this is actually a feature that will be added here that it won't be behind the lockbox. We do not have the newest version of content hub in this particular use case that I'm showing you here, but that would allow you to say, here's the keyword optimize around that keyword, which is what this is for. So we're going to click on next. And what it's going to do is give me a variety of blog post titles. That specific thing about keyword that I mentioned is right here on the screen. So it's going to give me all these different titles that I could choose from. And here, this is the keyword that they're suggesting that we optimize around. So if I didn't have access to this here in HubSpot, I might take this keyword and then I might actually put it um, in SEMrush or Ahrefs and see what uh, shakes out of that. But let's go avoiding common mistakes in HubSpot. HubSpot beginner mistakes is going to be our keyword. And then I'm gonna click on next. So now it's going to give me a blog post outline. So just like when you write a blog post, um, you know, using humans, uh, you're going to look at the title, the description that would encourage someone to read it. And then you're going to look at the sections that would make this specific title come true. So who's reading it? What do they wanna learn? Where is that coming from? So here we've got how to set up the HubSpot integrations correctly, understanding lead scoring, creating effective email campaigns. I would actually point out that um, one of the things that I'm noticing here is avoiding common mistakes in HubSpot, how to navigate through common pitfalls and errors when starting with HubSpot. What HubSpot beginner mistakes like this to me isn't quite matching this. So I'm actually gonna go back and go back to you and give it a, a, a different prompt. So let's actually say this article needs to be helpful for a new sales user to HubSpot. So you might find again, just like any AI tool, you might have to give it a more specific prompt because if this was a writer as well, the writer would be like, okay, who's using HubSpot? What person? So if I go back here and say new sales user HubSpot, what they need to know and uh, ideas for where to start. Okay, so let's try that. Let's go to next. Same thing here. It's going to give us some blog post titles. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, see where that shakes out. And let's see, effective sales strategy, helpful tips, um, comprehensive training. Okay, so the ones that to me look like would be most likely able to have AI help us would be this new sales users, helpful tips. Um, AI is good at using, uh, giving us tips, probably not a comprehensive guide. That's just my opinion. Uh, helpful tips for new sales users, understanding the sales tool, creating sales workflows, leveraging automation. So one of the things that we don't see in here is we don't see anything about getting your data into HubSpot. So again, having subject matter expertise about this specific topic means I might need to go in and add this later. So let's go ahead and just roll with what we have here under generate the blog post and see where we end up. Okay, so it's going to automatically open it up into your blog post settings and it's gonna go just based on how you have your template set up. So here we've got the headline, we've got um, the description and then we've got you know the rundown here. So if you've ever written blog posts before or articles, you'll know that this is like a good place to start. Every article needs to have a really good hook and a good intro. So this is where the AI tools are not going to help you. And you might either want to move to a different tool. So I'll show you one thing that I will do. Um, the other thing is definitely, this is not going to capture my attention. So helpful tips for new sales users to HubSpot. So I'm going to change this a little bit. Um, helpful tips for uh, HubSpot newbies who work in sales. 
okay, so that one, that to me seems a little more clever and it definitely will stand out because when someone's new to a tool, they typically call themselves a newbie. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to start with an intro more like, um, if you're new to HubSpot and you're responsible for quota, it can be hard to find the time to learn the tool and stay on top of your prospects and deals at the same time. Okay. So this is, um, you know, a, a better opening because this actually sets the context for why, like you understand them as a user and you understand their world. And it's not just like, here's some tips and strategies on HubSpot. So if I were to take this and actually say, okay, so here's, here's the content that it gave me, but I'm going to take this specific, um, intro here and I'm going to toss it over into chat GBT and we're going to use that tool instead. So in this one, I'm writing an article for HubSpot sales users who are new to the platform. Here's the brief intro I have, please, um, expand this and open the curiosity loop for a reader. So they want to consume the whole article. Okay. So let's go ahead and share that. See where we end up. And ChatGPT, on you know, just like a lot of other um, AI tools, will go ahead and write the things out. I'm going to probably end up editing this a little bit as well. So if you're new to HubSpot and juggling responsibility, the challenge can be daunting. But what if you could streamline your learning curve and enhance the sales effort simultaneously? So this is actually the hook that I'm talking about here, and this is what was missing from the HubSpot uh, generated one. So I really like this because you know now I've opened the curiosity of the person reading to say, what if we could do this? Well, actually, we're going to try and do both in this article. So I'm going to take this. We would probably go ahead and edit some of this before we just share it blankly because that's a pretty long intro. But um, what if you could do both? So we're going to take that here uh, and we're going to make this stand out. Okay. So that's one way to enhance the readability here. We're going to guide you through a step-by-step -step process on how to effectively manage your sales uh, pipeline, key tasks by the end, you know, only blah, 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 new sales gold. Okay. So actually this paragraph here is, is pretty much not needed. So um, step one, we're going to go ahead and take this into a format where it's easier to consume. So again, like you're seeing how I'm taking this content and it's generated a blog post from HubSpot, but as a subject matter expert, now it's your job to go in and add it so that it's, the readability is much better. It doesn't look like an AI just wrote it. So if I went to this creating effective sales workflows section, you know, it talks about one of the successful aspects of sales is creating sales workflows. Now, the hardest thing that the AI is not gonna know is actually in HubSpot, there's workflows and there's automations and a workflow is actually a feature. And I think it's talking about a, here we're talking about a sales workflow being a series of actions. So this is actually an incorrect piece of information. So one of the most successful pieces we're actually going to, like I would actually call this something at, oh, it's creating effective, um, you know, buyer journeys or creating effective journeys from, you know, sale to, from prospect to close. So again, you're, you're kind of starting to see that. So what I have our writing team do is use these tools like this and then go through it and read it and say, okay, what is accurate? What is not accurate? Second thing, does the hook, does the intro actually tell it, tell us what it needs to say? This whole intro now should give us what we need in order to write the effective article that follows. So all of this is how I would use this, this tool. Then when we go to settings and you can see we've got the blog title, we've got a featured image that we need to generate. Um, we can actually go to the metadata. So here again, if I wanted to use AI to generate a meta description, I can click on that here. It's going to revisit the content. And now it's actually using the stuff that I already put in here to, um, to write this. So this is actually good. It, unfortunately it's over its own recommended limit. So again, you know, beggars can't be choosers, but in this case, it got me a lot closer. So I might go ahead and edit this as well. So that's it. That's a quick look at how to use that AI generated blog creator inside of HubSpot. And because you're creating right inside of HubSpot, you're not bouncing back to tools. If you do want to use tools outside such as chat GPT or others, obviously you can, you can do that, but you do get quite a bit of the way down the field in terms of writing process by getting that started. And you're already in the HubSpot interface, which should be a time saver in and of itself. So that's it. Go ahead and give it a shot. For more tips, tricks, and how to use, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.